All right, folks, I wanted to do a quick video on these G-Power 18650 lithium-ion rechargeable batteries. I was contacted by a representative from G-Power, and I think the company's name is actually Shenzhen Giselle Technology Group Limited. And uh, they asked if I would uh, do a review of their batteries, and I said, sure, send them on over. So they sent me these batteries free of charge in exchange for this review. The batteries ship individually in a box like this. Let's see if we can get uh, some zoom in. And I guess this Giselle or Giesel is the uh, is the name of the company and that's where the G and G power comes from. It has one of these scanner things where you can check the authenticity of the battery. Not much there. Let's take a look at some of the batteries that they sent. So they sent me six batteries, three different types. We'll take a look at this one first. This is a 35 amp battery. And when you take a look at this battery you see it's a ICR, and that I is actually an L. It's just the way it's um, notated on batteries. And it stands for Lithium Cobalt Oxide Rechargeable Battery. 18650 means it's 18 millimeters across, 65 millimeters tall, and zero denotes that it's round. These are flat top batteries, as you can see. And they seem to have a pretty good wrapper on them. These batteries do not have integrated circuit protection. It says they're made in China. And if you take a look, there was some... Uh, stuff about the amperage and so we take a look this one says it's continuous discharge is 20 amps and then it's max or pulse discharge is 35 i'm not 100 percent sure how you how you measure a pulse discharge there's some debate out there is it a half a second is it one second how long is the pulse and if different battery companies measure it differently then you're going to have something that's inconsistent this one is 2500 milliamp hours and that denotes how much capacity or power is actually in this battery now one thing that I want to talk about is, is that the higher your number of MAH, generally the lower your discharge rates. And that's because to get more power out of a battery, you have to increase the density of the chemicals inside the battery. And the denser the battery, the less likely you are to have electrons flow at a faster rate. Let's take a look and see what some of the other ones are that came with the shipment. So this is a 40 amp battery, or that's what it's saying is its um, max discharge rate right here and it's continuous is 25 when you take a look at this one this is 2600 milliamp hours which is higher than the other one that we looked at right it was 25 sorry I got these all over the place and this one has a higher discharge rate so maybe that's possible maybe it's not I don't know we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna test these for their capacity in a few minutes okay and here's the last battery this one is also marked as 40 amp and this has 3000 uh, MAH. When you take a look at this one, it has a little bit of a lower discharge rate. And you would expect to see that because in order to have 3000 MAH, this battery would have to be a little bit denser from a chemical makeup. So for this video, like other capacity videos I do, we're going to use the Fox Novo. It's the digital charger 4S. And this will allow us to use a certain layer of current. We're going to go with a half of an amp to top off these batteries, make sure they're fully charged drain them all the way down until they are no longer delivering the power that they should and then we'll fill them back up and then we'll get a number for how many MAH it took to fill the batteries up thus giving us a capacity rating even though it's given six batteries we're doing a test three because they only have four ports here and uh, we're going to do one of each battery so we're going to start off with the 3000 MAH 40 amp battery we'll go ahead and put him in there then we're going to get the 40 amp 2600 MAH and then we'll go with the 35 amp, 2500 mAh. I will have links below to the G-Power website. Their website provides information about these batteries, other batteries they make, and other products. And um, I don't believe their website sells these batteries. You can get these from other retailers that sell batteries for things like vapes or flashlights. Let's go ahead and check the control panel here. As you can see, it's charging up. One of the things that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to switch to capacity mode. And I just did that by pushing this button. Now it says CAP for capacity. We're running at half of an amp. So I'm going to let these things charge, then discharge, and then fill back up as I mentioned before. I'll come back when we're done, but that's probably going to be tomorrow morning at some point. Alright, thanks everybody and see you soon. Alright folks, and we're back from the capacity test. Let's go ahead and check the results.
All right, so I'm a little bit surprised. This first one is the 3000 milliamp battery, and it only has 2631. The second one is 26 milliamps, 2600 milliamps. I'm sorry, I just woke up. And this one came out at 2452. Now, this last one, the 35 amp battery, was rated at 2500. That actually came in over at 2522. So, these two did not report back the capacity as advertised. What we're going to do is we're going to run this test one more time just to make sure. Sometimes you need to do a couple of cycles through batteries to get their true capacity. Um, kind of like a break-in period for the batteries. So we'll run this test one more time and see what happens. All right, folks. So we're back after test number two. Let's take a look at the results. And what you can see here is, is that the 2500 milliamp hour battery overperformed again, which is kind of what we expected. The 26 milliamp hour battery underperformed, not by a lot. I wouldn't call that significant. The 3000 milliamp hour battery underperformed by a few hundred milliamp hours or milliamps. So I would say that uh, this one is underperforming and the other two are probably pretty close to spot on. This one's overperforming, but. Um, I wouldn't have any problem uh, buying buying any of these batteries, although I'd be a little bit concerned about that one. So I'd probably stick to the 35 and then the 40 at 2600. All right, folks, that's it. And I want to thank G Power for sending these batteries out to me for testing. Thanks, everyone.